Crafted Comedy by Great Wolf. It's the talk of people in the know. Welcome to the G Block Show. Uh, okay, here's one. This is a girl. This is from a girl I actually know. I went to school with. This is from a girl I, I knew not well, okay? Uh, but I actually went to school with her at one point. Her name was Summer Evelitis. Summer Evelitis. Summer Evelitis. What a name. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I kept my distance from her, I'll tell you what. And, you know, especially in the summer. <laughs> well, we weren't even in class together, so it was easy. But, but no, that's true. True story. Yeah, another one. I once knew a girl named Alice Digitalis. Oh, really? That does, I like that. Alice Digitalis. Wow. What a cool name. Yeah, yeah. I thought so, too. And get this. I met her when I was in Dallas. Oh, no way. Come on. You met a girl named Alice Digitalis when you were in Dallas? Yeah, I did. Yep. Yeah, I was going down there, you know, the rodeo circuit there through Texas. I met her one morning, believe it or not, I was getting myself a burrito. And we got to talking. And I told her what I did. I told her what I was doing. I just worked in the rodeo circuit, I, and I told her I, I'm not so sure I wouldn't like to maybe settle down here, get a home or something sometime. Then she handed me her card because she was a realtor, and she said, "You ever want to buy a house here in Dallas? Take my card. I'm Alice Digitalis." <laughs> <laughs> I'll never forget it. I'll never forget. It. And so I I took her card. I think I still probably have it somewhere. <laughs> All right, now see, there you go. Now that that's a very good. That's what. That's exactly what I'm talking about. You name you. You gotta figure this has gotta been her original last name. And the parents were like, "Well, what are you gonna name your kid?" Well, and I bet she comes from a long line of Alice's. That's that's a good one. All right, thanks for sharing. And speaking of Sharon, I don't know that I'd ever really named my daughter Sharon. You always got to think about when she becomes a teenager. I'm serious. I mean, you know, you want to name her something like Ethel or Ruth, not Sharon. That just gets to be where people immediately, that they think of Cher. You get my, you know, Cher. Not, I'm not even talking like Sonny and Cher. I'm talking just sharing. Cher, sharing, Sharon. <laughs> I'm not Sharon, Sharon. You, you know, if you want her to get in trouble... And you want you want your daughter you you we want her you want her when she gets to be a teenager you want to get her you know she you want her to get in trouble you name her something like that or you name her like Roxanne that you know those are that that's get you're asking for <laughs> but if you name her something like Ethel you're really changing the likelihood of of uh, you know her being that desirable it's and you know, women and girls kind of fit into the names you give them all right now let's go back to some other now here's a famous one that I would never think to name. My daughter, and you, you know, it's weird because you think this is this this is another this is a more famous one that you think well really, <laughs> okay. So this one is Bo Derek. Who would ever think? Can you just I mean, I'm saying the same thing. I was, she's just born. And it's like what are you guys naming your baby? Your little baby girl, Bo. We're, we're going to name her Bo. Okay, yeah, Bo, like a like a big strapping man. It's just short for, like, Beauregard. Yeah, man, they had no regard. <laughs> they should have just named her No. No, Derek. <laughs> okay, right. Now, here's another one. Pia, Pia, Isadora. Naming your daughter Pia. Yep, that's a head scratcher. Pia. You got all these other names to choose from. That's what drives me nuts. You got, yeah, like, Julie, Sandra, Elizabeth. Just, you've got a whole ocean of names out there. And you go, well, how about we go with Pia or Bo? <laughs> but, of course, you can't help the last name. I mean, you know, like, like for example, Christy Yamaguchi. You know as well as I do that there was guys out there changing the last name from Yamaguchi to Give Me Gucci. <laughs> okay? I mean, it's no secret. We all thought it. Not everyone said it. But we all thought it, you know. But there's, but at the same time, I mean, you can't, you know, what are you going to do? Change your whole last name, you know, your whole family heritage? Because, you know, you look hot and a bunch of guys are, you know, you know a bunch of guys are you know, going, hey, Christy, Christy, give me Gucci. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. On that on that score, I kind of think of it's, you know, it's almost in a way. I mean, it's like, you know, it's flattery. It's flattery. I mean, I'll give you that, you know, in its own round, you know, in a weird, strange sort of way, it is. 
Did you did you call her that? Did you, you when you saw her? Did you say, "Hey, Christy, Christy"? You know, you know, she's on TV or whatever. You think, "Oh, yeah, well, Christy, give me Gucci." No, I can't say as I did. No, I mean, I thought she was attractive, but I'm not that creative. All right, fine. Well, I know. I, I think a lot of guys did. All right, I don't think it was just me. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe it was. <laughs> got a, you know, I've got a whole long list of, of names here, but let's just save it for another day. All right? Okay. You've been enjoying another episode of the G-Block Show. Crafted comedy by Grey Wolf. It's the talk of people in the know. Welcome to the G-Block Show. I know you guys have seen this T-shirt, and I've heard the phrase a few times. Okay, boomer. <laughs> it's it's demeaning. It's 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 a way to belittle and put down people who are really cool and hip and lived through the most cool, awesome time that there ever was. It's it's because they're jealous, is what what it really amounts to. <laughs> Fine, if that's the, the if they want to try to zing us with OK Boomer, since we exhibit by and large way more, you know, not only coolness, but just overall intelligence and everything, we're just more well-rounded people uh, because we weren't raised on, on little games and uh, that sort of thing. We actually actually had a life when we were young. So I like this one. Even if I wasn't retired, I would I would say, and I wish yeah, well, somebody come up with a shirt, maybe somebody has, it's like, yeah, um, Okay, Boomer, uh, I would say my t-shirt is, okay, Millennial, Gen X, I'm retired. I, and, and that's something you'll probably never be. You'll probably never, ever be retired. <laughs> and even if you are, yeah, because yeah, because they can't find any work for you because it's all gone to, to automation, you don't have a future. So don't give me this, you know, if you want to say, okay, Boomer, it makes you feel good, fine. But, but um, you you know. I, I, I don't appreciate it, and uh, I, you know, because I didn't go, you know, I didn't start this stuff. I didn't say, I, you know, nobody came out with a T-shirt that said, "Okay, millennium." <laughs> so what the, what the, what's up with that? So, anyways, you can just stow it as as it goes. <laughs> yeah, you can really stow it. That's that's how I feel. You've been enjoying another episode of the G Block Show. And we hope you're telling your friends about the G-Block Show. If you have feedback or suggestions or would like to be a G-Block Show sponsor, please contact us at gblockshow.com. Hey! Yo, for the price of a fancy store-bought card, I will make you an online video card. You know, an invitation, greeting, birthday wish, get well, congratulations, anything, and perhaps more than what you'd buy a traditional boring card for. I can make it for you. It's great because it's online and it can be shared or sent to anyone and everyone. No postage needed. <laughs> and I'm sure you'll agree that I'm way more entertaining and lovable than any paper card. And not to mention I'm a celebrity. Oh, it's so easy. All you have to do is go to www.gblockshow.com. And that's all one word, G Block Show. And then, of course, a little dot com. I'm very salty, and I can't wait to hear from you. Well, I can, but I'd, I'd rather not. <laughs> Crafted Comedy by Great Wolf. It's the talk of people in the know. Welcome to the G Block Show. Well, I was at the Blues Festival this weekend. Yeah, me too. That was a blast, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a really good time. It really was. Uh, you know, man, you know, I was down there and I was dancing and I met a couple <laughs> girls, you know. Yeah. That reminds me. I like to go, you know, I'm in a mall, all right? <laughs> I get a little of this. This is always fun. I'm at one end of this big mall, and then I will start waving, just waving with all I've got to people at the other far end. <laughs> Finally, I get people's attention. Like everybody's looking. Like, they look like, what in the, what? Is he waving to me? And I'll kind of nod my head up and down. Like, yeah, yeah, you. And I'll just wave, like, hey, hello, hello, hey. I'll keep doing it. Ha, 
<laughs> and the next thing you know, I got half the store, half of the mall at the back up from the opposite end. I got about half of them waving at me. It's just, it's just awesome. What I call the power of the wave. And I can use it almost anywhere. They got to be far enough away so they can't ask any questions. They can't say, do I know you or, you know what I mean? No, no they got to be some distance. I've... I, I use it sometimes. I'll, I'll do it when I'm out on the beach. Sometimes just down the down the street. Just you know, just start waving. Just try it sometime. It's a blast. <laughs> yeah, man, I like that. Yeah, that's a good idea. It's a great way to have fun. And sometimes people will even come up and say, hey, 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 no, wait, do, do I know you? And I'll go, oh, gosh, I thought I did know, but no, now that you, I don't think we do know each other. I don't think I, no, I, I must have been mistaken. And then they're like, oh, they seem like they're kind of disappointed. And I'm like, well, I, you, know, you seem disappointed. I understand that because, well, let's face it, a lot of people would like to know me. <laughs> yeah, that's perfectly understandable. <laughs> yeah. For example, if I wasn't me, I would want to know me. I would. I mean, I'd want to know me bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You've been enjoying another episode of the G Block Show. Crafted comedy by Great Wolf. It's, it's the, the talk, talk of people in the know. Welcome to the G Block Show. show. In the, sort of in the same vein here. This one, I, I, it gets me as being a, a you know. Uh, I guess is just being a male, straight or otherwise. When I see this on the the these commercials on TV, and they're talking about this you know, premature ejaculation, <laughs> but I was thinking about that. It's like, what the heck? What is there? What, is there some kind of? Is it written in stone? You're sure? What are you supposed to? Is it, is it supposed to be uh, you know twenty seconds, or is it supposed to be twenty minutes, two hours? I, I, do I need to see Alice? <laughs> <laughs> you don't see those commercials anymore. I don't know what happened there. Maybe a bunch of people killed over. Maybe just wives got tired of that with their, their husbands. It's like, hey, uh, you know, we're going on three and a half hours. I think it's about time I called the, 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 the widow lady next door <laughs> whose husband passed away from from, from these, these massively long erections. Maybe you could finish up on her, honey. I, I think she'd appreciate that. <laughs> Well, was that what that was? That, I mean, I can't figure it out, but this was seriously. I mean, come on. This is ridiculous. This guy, so, so guy's supposed to want us like, so talk about work. Take, you know, I mean, it's fun for a little bit, but you know, after a couple hours, it's sort of like, oh man, what did I get into here? <laughs> No, and then even 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 the wife who who likes to be pleasured for for a long time is saying, "Come on, <laughs> literally, uh, let's kind of complete this." But of course, yeah, at some point, the poor guy, yeah, at some point, it's it's just absurd. You know, I I could believe it. Yeah, you know, well, they're well, uh, erections lasting more than four hours. Well, erections lasting four more than four hours. Come on, I'm not going near this stuff. <laughs> and ask me to see Alice. Tell me what to see. I'm, I'm, I don't. I just don't. I don't need that. And, and I'm sorry if you women, you want you want your guy to be able to go for that long. You, you just you're gonna have to pay for that. Yeah, you are. That's that's freaking work. These poor old guys up in their 70s and 80s, and they're 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 having to pump it out for three four hours there. <laughs> Yeah, because and if not, if they if they can't pull it off in that time, now we got real problems. They, you know, you have to call the doctor and you say, yeah, um, you know, talking to the nurse. Of course, you never get to talk to the doctor. You're talking to yeah, you're talking to somebody who just does, feels this. Okay, what what's the what seems to be a problem? And you're like, um, I'm up and I can't get down. <laughs> It's like what? What are you? What are you? What, what are you saying, sir? It's like I've got an erection, dear. <laughs> I'm, I'm hard as a rock. Been been that way for about four and a half hours now. Um, can, can, is there something we can do about this? It's called privism. It's like a pry bar. <laughs> it's yeah. It's called privism, dear. Ta see if you can get the doctor. See if they can't get me in there, and I can maybe see see one of the nurses. Maybe hopefully she'll be female. <laughs> it's just my preference. We can get this taken care of. Get me down. <laughs> Now they've got these commercials out, these medical commercials, which I think, you know, they're different than they, the 
than the stay up all night commercials. Oh, they got those. Yeah, you remember that too. I thought that was funny too. They'd show them out in the middle of nowhere. One of those commercials, they'd show these this this man and this woman in these in this tub out there. I'm not mistaken. They were in their own tub out in the middle of nowhere, like somewhere up in the middle of Alaska. And then they would go to that for uh, erections lasting more than four hours. Seek medical. Well, I'm thinking you're probably going to be a long ways from any medical. So it's going to be a, a long, hard ride <laughs> if you get my drift. Uh, but now they got these, you know, this premature ejaculation. Well, like I said, who is there somewhere? Is it written in stone? But what is this supposed to be? Is this, well, like, seriously, is it supposed to be 20 seconds, two minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes? What What is the. What is the uh, the standard? Well, I mean, what, you know, I, I'm just in my, I'm just, what I'm trying to say is there's no such thing in my book. It happens when it happens, you know, and obviously the more you do it, the, probably the longer it's going to take each time. But there is no, it's like, well, it just, there is no, uh, some women, let's put it this way, are, are never satisfied. And others are just like, hey, let's just, you know, can we just do this? already it's there's no there is no right or wrong there is no too short or too long that's all i'm trying to say this is just the whole nonsense that they just get people into thinking things and it's like oh my gosh yeah maybe i'm yeah. and it's like well anybody watching that could could think well i must be that must be me premature but i got um, i'm going to tell you guys uh same thing uh you know for for women there, there's just no such thing you just it just it happens when it happens and if you want to try to if you want to change it just do it more often you can you can definitely uh you know change the time there on that Except you don't need any pills none of that none of that crap they're always trying to sell you you've been enjoying another episode of the g block show the gblockshow.com website is a great place to hear your favorite g block show shows as well as their backstories and it's also a great place to go and get your video messages or invitations made. Yes, have your video message or invitation made by some of the other very colorful Portland puppets, such as Pirate Hardy, Hugh Blue, Mexican Bandit Rango, Groovy Granny, Cowboy Sun, Cowboy Bird, Boosty Cool, and others. And for a great price. Be sure to check it all out next time you go to the gblockshow.com. That's G B L O C K show.com. Crafted comedy by Great Wolf. It's the talk of people in the know. Welcome to the G Block Show. I don't know if you guys are reading the paper today, but uh, looks like uh, they're thinking about maybe putting some some tolls, you know, some tolls on the road. Did you say tolls or trolls? No, 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 trolls. I mean tolls. To drive on the road certain times. <laughs> you know something? Back in my day, we wouldn't do that. We would refuse. We had the courage of our conviction. Did you ever see the movie Convoy? Convoy. Yeah, yeah, convoy. And in the song, the guy is C.W. McCall. All right, the, the cool guy from Colorado. <laughs> and so in the song, he says, and this is the way it was back then, the 70s. We didn't take no crap. Convoy. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, they put up this roadblock. Okay. So that you know, the truckers come that they were going to, the cops were going to try to stop them. All right. The truckers went right through it. Yeah with attitude, and the song goes like this. We crashed the gate doing 98. Doing 90, 98, 98. Get a load of that. <laughs> yeah, we did things right back then. That's right. So we crashed the gate doing 98. <laughs> and then he says, and we ain't going to pay no toll. And that's the way it should be. When I'm not driving on the roads, really, I, I have enough to concentrate on just driving without thinking about tolls. I just don't, I just don't need that. Hell no! You don't need it, you don't need it. No tolls. I want everybody within the sound of my voice to get, get, get with their friends, their social media, start tweeting the hell out of this. No tolls. It's real simple. N-O-T-O-L-L-S. <laughs> that ought to keep them busy. <laughs> I love it. 
You've been enjoying another episode of the G Block Show. And we hope you're telling your friends about the G Block Show. If you have feedback or suggestions or would like to be a G Block Show sponsor, please contact us at gblockshow.com. Hey, yo, for the price of a fancy store-bought card, I will make you an online video card. You know, an invitation, greeting, birthday wish, get well, congratulations, anything, and perhaps more than what you'd buy a traditional boring card for. I can make it for you. It's great because it's online and it can be shared or sent to anyone and everyone. No postage needed. <laughs> and I'm sure you'll agree that I'm way more entertaining and lovable than any paper card. And not to mention I'm a celebrity. Oh, well, it's so easy. All you have to do is go to www.gblockshow.com. And that's all one word, G Block Show, and then, of course, a little dot com. I'm very salty, and I can't wait to hear from you. Well, I can, but I'd, I'd rather not. <laughs>